Ladies and gentlemen, we are in the heavyweight division. Six rounds of boxing. Fighting out of the red corner, wearing the burgundy trunks, trimmed with white, weighing in at 17 stone, one pounds. 36 fight record, 28 wins, 23 inside the scheduled distance and just eight defeats comes to the ring as the former British Commonwealth and European heavyweight champion and world title challenger. Ladies and gentlemen, the Bedford Bear, Matt Skelter! And now, ladies and gentlemen, fighting out of the blue corner in the black trunks trimmed with gold, weighing in at 17 stone, one pound, 11 ounces. Undefeated, six contests, six wins, all inside the scheduled distance. Coming to the ring is the two-time ABA champion and the winner of the 2012 Olympic gold medal. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome a member of the British Empire, it's AJ Anthony Joshua! Time to go is Gary Brennan, our referee in charge of the action is Mr. Steve Gray. This is six three minute rounds. Okay, boys, if a call break, you stop punching and take a step back. Don't let any of your punches go around the back of the head. And most importantly, protect yourself at all times. Touch gloves. Touch. <laughs> That's Gilton just getting told off there. And not touching gloves. Just an amiable laid back guy with real charisma about him, Anthony Joshua. Get him in the ring. The game face comes on. Matt Skelton who has not been in a ring for 16 months when he went the distance with John McDermott in the losing effort. Before that, lasted just two rounds against David Price. But we remember two and a half years ago or so, he was pitched in with another prospect, Tom Dallas, who was obviously nowhere near the kind of level of expectation that we get with Joshua. And he upset Tom Dallas, he bullied him and bored him. And he's obviously not going to be intimidated here, and Steve Gray, the referee, is not going to be intimidated either, and is calming everything down. Well, at least he's come in at a respectable weight. Uh, like, you know, so, so he's got himself, you would imagine, in some sort of shape. So that would suggest he's going to give this a bit of a go, and he does no tricks, and he's going to be throwing some punches if this goes any distance that uh, Joshua hasn't had to oh, look, look at this. It's normally... Matt Skelton that's doing the bullying and the pushing over the ropes and Joshua letting the old boy know right here that he is going to be the governor physically. You're not going to intimidate Joshua. That was the message right there. I think the, the Joshua jab is important here. He wants to keep this fellow off him. He wants to keep him at, at long range, just as he's doing here. Ah, good stuff. That's good. Skelton took that one. So, yeah, Skelton has certainly not come to lie down. He said he's got ambitions. And obviously, a win here would just totally reignite his career as unexpected as that would be I mean, he's still a, a, bit, a little bit too clumsy eh, Skelton, you can see him walking right on to something but uh, he's hoping that maybe he can get his own bomb home first but uh, you know he's, he's, he's kind of stumbling in to Joshua which is dangerous Matt Legg tried that on the Frotch Grows 2 undercard at Wembley Stadium he came out throwing bombs oh he got a right hand in there Skelton and that didn't last too long because Matt left himself open throwing those bombs and was dispatched in 83 seconds. That is Joshua's quickest win. Skelton getting caught there as well. And he's landed a couple of shots here, the 47-year-old. Yeah, Joshua wants to step in towards him with that jab. He doesn't want to be backing up. That that suits Skelton. He wants to bulldoze for that's it. As you, you want Skelton on the back foot as soon as you can do it. That's a terrific jab that Joshua has. He was seven years old now, but didn't touch pro until he was 35. Matt Skelton, martial arts background, kickboxing primarily. It's been a little bit obvious with what he's doing, Skelton. You, know, you see the head going down, the forehead goes down, so you know he's going to swing the right hand over. And Joshua just stepping back away from him. He can see what's coming. There you go again. Faint from Joshua. Oh, great shot. Skelton took that. 
and has a big grin on his face if saying, if that's the best you got, I can take it. First warning sign from Anthony Joshua, and there's another one. This is good stuff from Joshua. Keeping cool, this is clever. And just catching in there as they went for a little dance, a dancing bear got caught right on the bell there. Good stuff. Relax, 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 relax. Keep your shape, keep your shape, yeah? Keep your more belief. Believe in yourself, exactly, don't wait. That's what we worked on. Have belief in your work. Don't worry, believe in yourself. Confidence. Now we go to another level. Pressure, pressure, pressure. When you're inside, throw more bombs. Don't doubt yourself. Stop doubting no, you can yourself. Hear that. Don't doubt yourself. Believe in yourself. They're telling Skelton in his corner. Well, that's what I was saying. He's facing a man with a reputation tonight, but I didn't see any signs that he was overly respectful. I thought he, he boxed really well in the open. That was a terrific right hand. And Skelton just said they said he to laugh about it, but it was a good shot. Can't take too many of those. Round two. Anthony Joshua in the black with the gold trim. Facing the most experienced opponent he's been in with. And what a body work Max Skelton has put together in his 12 years as a pro. That's where Joshua wants to be on the front foot, pushing Skelton back. Skelton's a problem when he's coming forward. He can rumble forward. Put him on the back foot, you take away most of what he's got. A bit messy in there. And telling off for holding for Skelton. And Joshua just out of range, just regroups. A lot of fainting and parrying going on in there at the moment. And a stiff, rock solid jab from Joshua. Yeah, that's a good jab. He wants to develop that. You know, a huge heavyweight athletic with a good jab can go all the way. Doing well here, he's keeping his cool, just taking his time. That good, good right hand again. And followed up with a left immediately, and Skelton took it very well. And then what else can he take? The, the legs wobbled there off that right hand. There comes the spearing jab again, right hand over the top from Joshua. And Skelton is feeling this. Body shot mixed into the. The onslaught as well. And Skelton loves to swarm and spoil, just unable to swarm all over Joshua. See, he doesn't have any timing, uh, Skelton. You know, I mean, at uh, 47, he's got his weight down. You know, he's in some sort of shape, but the timing isn't there. You know, he really he hasn't really landed anything solidly so far. No, that was just a kind of cumbersome pawing punch, but quite the opposite from Joshua. Slipped inside there. Skelton's Joshua looked to land the right hand, but he's taking his time and measuring it up, and that right hand did the damage. He just waited to pull the trigger on that right hand, and that little split second might have done for Matt Skelton. Because when it landed, it was perfect. Up at nine, is Steve Gray going to let this carry on? 35 seconds left in the round. Is it going to be another inside two rounds for Joshua, who takes his time, measures him up again. Skelton's all over the place. Steve Gray says that's it. Matt Skelton sinks to his haunches. He was destroyed by that right hand. He's done it again. Seven out of seven inside two rounds. OK, Joshua's won a fight. We expect him to win. But again, you have to be impressed with the manner he went about it. Hardly took a decent shot from Skelton. OK, Skelton, 47 years of age, but uh, he was throwing leather, but uh, Joshua's tactics were perfect. The jab worked really well all the way through, and he set up the big right hand that finished the job. Skelton got back on his feet again because of his experience. Probably ref referee Steve Gray allowed him to continue, but within a couple of seconds, he could see there was no point, and he was ready to step in, and that's what he did. But that was good work from Anthony Joshua, as I say, facing a man with a reputation, and he just blasted him out of there. I just love the way he measured that right hand. Let's look at some of the re action from earlier in the round as uh, he started to pour it on. 
See, this is where he decided to take charge a little bit more. You know, he, he was having a good look in the opening round, uh, paying Skelton a little bit of respect, as he's due. But then he upped the pace. I think he realised when he put Skelton onto the back foot, he took away most of what he had. And you could see him looking for the huge right hand. And there you go. Over he goes. Don't think it was maybe the best right hand that Josh has ever landed. But it was good enough to do the job. See, that was a kind of glancing blow. That seemed to come off the shoulder. And then the, the shorter right hand to follow up was a shorter, jolting right hand. But it just shows you that the power that Joshua possesses, that's terrific. And then you can see the point. You know, it was, it was the body language that convinced Steve Ray. What was the point? And no argument from Matt Skelton. Yeah, he was on the way down here, wasn't he? And as you say, no argument at all. He knew immediately. He'd given it his best shot. And as six before him had found out, that best shot, not good enough. Not against a man who really does look destined for something special. We'll be seeing him in action next month once again. I'm sure it's uh, exciting times ahead for Anthony Joshua. Ladies and gentlemen, timekeeper Gary Brennan has recorded a time of 2 minutes and 33 seconds of the second round. Matt Skelton in no position to continue, therefore your winner and still undefeated. Taking the record to seven, with seven, all inside the scheduled distance, it's AJ Anthony Joshua! A very, very popular win here in Liverpool. Yes, sir, he just please. gets very fans very on very his side indeed. wherever he goes. Liverpool, no That's exception. Down. And the, uh, the talk is that he may be boxing in Dublin next month. They're talking about the Ukrainian. Yaroslav Zavarotny, who uh, recently went 10 rounds with David Price, so definitely has some durability, and that's what they're going to need to find for AJ. He keeps bombing these fellas out of there. Matt Skelton going the way of all previous opponents of AJ, gone inside two rounds. Well, a good name on the record, stopping Matt Skelton. The crowd seemed to enjoy it, did you? Yeah, 100%. Uh, no negatives about boxing. I love the sport, and... Uh, I was looking forward to getting in there, mixing it up again. That's out of the way, back to the gym. Look forward to August 30th, now in Dublin. Matt Skelton's a veteran. It's quite difficult to box, isn't he? A little bit awkward at times. Yeah, definitely. Um, I wish I had him when he was at like, European level, do you know what I mean? Uh, but eventually, I'll get there and I'll be fighting guys that were at his level. Um, but definitely a good name on the record. Not much point in boxing. Guys that I'm going to be knocking over all the time. Matt came game, don't get me wrong. You know, and... Uh, the game plan works, stuck to my jab, relaxing, each fight I'm learning, and if I keep on progressing, I'll keep on getting them uh, second round, first round knockouts. You seemed to miss with the first right hand, but that gave you the angle for the second, and you didn't see it coming. Yeah, well, I've got eight rounds, six rounds to, to get my range. Do you know what I mean? So, if I can miss with two out of a hundred, I'm not complaining. Mote de Hearn, what's next? It's just so exciting, Ed. You know, we're going to go to Dublin uh, August the 30th, and fight Zavarotny, who just took David Price 10 rounds. So it's a, it's a great step up for him, it's a great prior fight for him, but just so exciting for British boxing. What you're seeing is the evolution of the next heavyweight champion in the world. I have no doubt this boy is going all the way. And uh, he's a humble man. The country should get behind him because he's 100% dedicated to the sport. He's a role model, and he's going to be huge for British boxing and British sport. And see, Joshua is going all the way. Well done to the team. Wow, Glenn, I'll start with you. We thought this was going to be a real test for him. Well, it, it's certainly it's a, it's a progression, isn't it? He's in with a, a tough man. We know it's the, it's a, the end of the, the road for... Um, Matt Skelton. Matt, Matt Skelton. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, for Skelton, but it, it was... Um, he did what he had to do. He did it in good style. He's going to get better opponents and better opponents. You know, Skelton is... You know, he was a good British and European champion 10 years ago and that sort of stuff. So he's at the end. But this is the learning fight. He needs all that. And it's a step-by-step -step process right the way to the heavyweight championship Paul, of the world. Scott, Paul Scott came out with a plan to try and catch him with those right hands over the top. Anthony seemed to relish in the, in the prospect of this man trying to put it on him. He did. And as Carlos say, he trains with the lads all the time in Sheffield. These kids who are just turned professional. Every fight they have is against the top class. 
international opponent who's world class, world level. When you're dropping down, no dis disrespect to Matt Skelton and the likes, but you need to build as a pro then, fighting as a pro, taking shots as a pro. And I said before, if Matt Skelton...